Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel Dad. That is Artistic Daughter and I am your host Dona. Today I am going to make a flip lid box like this. This was pretty much for my homework. So here, whatever I have used, I will be using the same technique uh, pretty much in making today's uh, box with you guys. So here I have used a cardstock paper which is of 21.5 by 28 centimeter and it has come up like this. It is pretty much a rectangular box but the one which I will be making will be a, a smaller one. It is I have used a window uh, which I have uh, used an acetate sheet for making this window. I have used uh, a finger pull over here as you can see using my subtle punching tool. Since it is a Mother's Day so I have uh, chosen a pink one and this measures 28 by 14 centimeters. So this will be my base paper which is of 176 GSM and these are pretty much uh, the decorative paper which is again of 176 GSM. Um, for making a window like this I will be needing acetate sheet which I have already taken, double sided tape. I cut out leaves and these are my small roses these are also die cut out flowers um, here I have added some um, foam sequins this is a tag which I have made beforehand um, with a heart shape inside it and uh, this is a uh, this is an oval die which I will be using in uh, giving it a window shape like this. So I have actually got two of these. I will see which one uh, works well because these are of uh, these are of two different sizes. So let me see the measurement. So this is almost like four centimeter. And this is probably three centimeter yeah so I will see which one I will be using and obviously a uh, glue and my scissor along with all the supplies I will be needing my scoring uh, tool my scoring board as well a ruler and a pencil Taking this paper, I have already marked it on both the sides. So here I have marked at 4 cm, then at 12 cm, 16 cm and 24 cm. So on both the sides, I have marked equally. So here also I have marked at the same gaps. Like I mentioned at 4 cm, 12 cm, 16 cm and at 24 cm. And then turning the paper at 4 cm and again at 10 cm on both the sides, on top and bottom. So now taking my scoring tool, I do not need a scoring board as of now. So I will start scoring along the lines. Hope you can see the markings. So the markings are equally distributed in three parts first and then on two parts in the middle. If I am writing like this, this is A, this is B, 
and this is C. So A, B, C has to be equal in length and D and E will have to be equal in length. So that's the simple rule. Whatever be the measurement of your paper is, doesn't matter. Now I will be raising this uh, markings because I don't want to be visible this markings. Now I will be burning burnishing these lines. Now taking my scissors, I will start cutting along these lines one by one. I will make these small portions, the small squares at, on the edge, towards the edge. I will start cutting off these portions, one, two, three, four and five on this side and one, two, three, four, five on the other side. Just cut along this line, just till here, till this marking, that's it. I will repeat the procedure one by one. is pretty much my front part it will go like this so I will be using my acetate sheet on top like this first so I will be cutting it accordingly double sided tape and glue it well. I will not be using glue on this and instead I will be using a double sided tape. my decorative paper and I will start one by one so this is four by six centimeter so I will be having 3.5 by 5.5 centimeter length of strips of this decorative paper three in number 
this part, this part and this part. I have cut my decorative papers into shape and size. So the smaller uh, rectangular pieces are of 5.5 by 3.5 centimeters and the bigger ones, bigger rectangular pieces are of 7.5 by 5.5 centimeters. I have already made uh, this window for the front part and I have another uh, I have made another window for the back part so this is the window and this is a clear uh, rectangular uh, rectangular shape like this so now I will be gluing one by one Now this will be my top part, so it will be coming like this. So for the top part, like I did here, it will be only the two sides. This part, like this part, and the and the sides. Start with one side at a time. Just bring this part, this flap, the small flap towards the edge of the longer side and glue it. It has to be together. The edges needs to be sticking together. That's the basic rule. And it will give you a perfect shape. Similarly, I will do this side. So my top flap is ready. Now this is the body. So again, I will be following the same pattern. But in here, it will be three sides together. Like this. with the flowers that I have Gift tag along with the gift 
and the gift box is ready for my mom. So this box measures 8 cm by 6 cm and it is 4 cm in width. You guys have liked this video and as I always mention that if you if this video is of any uh, educational benefit for you guys please do like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video till then bye and take care